First-time home buyers accounted for nearly half of all homes purchased in the United States two years ago, and many will have no idea how to take care of a lawn. Two-thirds of first-time home buyers are under the age 34, and nearly 75% of Americans under age 30 are less than enthusiastic about yard work. To help them out, we have the yard doctor with us, Dr. Trey Rogers, a professor of turf grass science at Michigan State University. Dr. Rogers, what can you do in one weekend, this is a little challenge for you, for less than $100 to make your yard look great? Well, I've got plenty of tips for you. And if you're looking for one-on-one -on -one help, I want you to go to yardsmarts.com and click on the boot camp, and you'll find lots of tips there because I'm looking for a dozen people that I can recruit and teach more about lawn care. The first thing I'm going to tell you is to have that mower, get that mower out and use it correctly. Don't scalp your grass. Leave it as high as possible. If you can have that grass high, leave it higher, then that's going to be your best defense against weeds. So oftentimes people come to me, they say they have a weed problem. I look out and I realize they have a mowing problem. They've been scalping their grass. Uh, what about uh, making our lawns beautiful? Is that something we really control versus maybe just whatever the weather does to us? Well, of course, Mother Nature rules. There's no doubt about that. But there are certain things that we have control over, and how high we mow our grass is one thing. Whether or not we go out and string trim our areas, our, our yard after we mowed, or every time we do mow, I think that's extremely important. If you don't do that, it's like getting half a haircut. You've got to follow the same rules. You know, don't scalp. The other thing you can do is you can mulch. And I think mulching is a very effective way, a cost-effective way. It doesn't take a lot of money. It really neatens up the landscape. It is a wonderful uh, control of weeds, naturally. So don't underestimate the importance of mulching. What in the way of lawn care should we be doing differently? Well, I would tell you that a lot of people are still um, not mulching the grass back into the, into the yard. And I think that's extremely important. So don't bag your clippings. Mulch them back into your yard. First thing that's going to do is give you a free fertilization. That could be worth anywhere from $20 to $50. Save you on one fertilization per year. And from an environmental standpoint, it's a wonderful thing because it puts the clippings right back in the yard. Uh, any other uh, tips? I know uh, you've talked about uh, uh, a focal point. Well, I think, I think that when you're talking about curb appeal, don't lose sight of the importance of a focal point such as annual flowers in a landscape or annual flowers in a container. That's a beautiful color that you can focus on. And then I would also tell you that if you have further questions or further, anything further, you go to my website, yardsmarts.com. You click on your state and we're going to give you a personalized landscaping and yard care uh, maintenance regime for you to follow. You also get a chance to sign up for the boot camp. We're looking forward to it. Dr. Trey Rogers, thank you so much. You're welcome.